Get on, bitch. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Big Guns for Hire. And you can see this is the setup that I start in this game, but I didn't finish with the Man of War. You guys are gonna see I had to uh, change change rifles um because um the um the Man of War uh wasn't doing I wasn't doing too well with it, so I just had to change it up. Now <clears throat> I want to talk to you guys. It discuss you guys the gameplay right here, man. I went ham in this one, but also share some pointers with you guys. If you're struggling, um, when you when you struggle, if you struggle playing Call of Duty, man, listen. You, I know a lot of you guys might might go out there and watch. <clears throat> a lot of YouTubers out there they give you OP setups and different type of setups for your weapon, you know, all, all, all of these opinions that you see on YouTube is, is all from, for, from their perspective of what's, what works for them. For example, in this, in this gameplay right here, man, uh, I started with the Man of War. Now, the Man of War, I uh, replaced the, I, I put a stock and took away rapid fire, I believe, or, or fast hands, and I replaced it with stock. And I was having problems, man. I was having all kinds of problems with this setup because I, I also on my the gameplay before this one, I raised the sensitivity, and I couldn't just I couldn't control my shot. You'll see it throughout the gameplay. I was having problems controlling my shot. And it, it just it's just like I say guys, you you when you play Call of Duty, uh you have to take in consideration your your um your setup, your sensitivity and how the gun reacts with the attachments, especially when you add a stock on your gun or if you uh when you add stock into your rifle, you know, you, you tend to move faster from side to side. You feel me? So that's gonna affect your aim, and it's gonna affect your the way you handle the, the 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 recoil and all that. So, like I said, I was having problems with this man of war, and uh, I just couldn't control it. You know, it, it got away from me. You know, a lot of people out there. I seen a lot of videos where you got YouTubers using. The uh, man of war with with the with the uh, stock and they do a lot, a lot they do they do re they do really well. But for me, man, it doesn't work out. If I use stock, I have to lower my sensitivity. If I play on a higher sensitivity, then I cannot use stock on my weapons, man. I mean, I, I'm pretty much convinced of that in this gameplay. So you guys gotta play around with that. You know, you gotta play around with that. You cannot just go by what Drifter and 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 Ali a and all these guys say. You know, when they give you um, different stats and different numbers on the on the on the gun, and what their suggestions are to do well with what particular rifle to other, it doesn't mean that it's gonna work. It have to do with your skill and what you can do. And how good you are in controlling the the recoil and what's going on during the game, so you know that's just a little bit of uh, you know that's just a tip for you guys, man. So you guys understand. Sometimes when you're playing the game, uh, you realize you're like you're not hitting your shot. Something must be wrong. You lower your sensitivity, um, but uh, you know uh, it, it's still not working out. You know. You you gotta play around, you know the st stock. When you pull stock on your rifle, it does. Uh, it's a big difference on the way that you control your rifle when you're shooting and when they're shooting at you, because you know when they're shooting at you, there's there's actually recoil. So, um, not recoil, but you know, um, 
when they shoot at you, you you flinch because you're getting shot at. So all of that man affects um, how you you know you aim and 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 you're and you hitting the target. So it was a slow start for me on this one, man. Trying to use this man of war with this stock and and high sensitivity, but. We're going to jump into the second half and continue this conversation. Well, welcome to the second half. You guys can see we was losing 67 to 100. But, you know, you'll see, man. This is second half, we get turned up. Uh, my boy Push Brain, man, he goes ham. And I get hot towards the end. Sitting here throwing highs and see if they kill me right away, man. You know... I made a comment just uh, yesterday. My my boy lost lost souls. I'm gonna leave the link in the description. My friend lost souls uh, was live streaming, and I made a comment in the chat. Um, Jimmy was watching and I ended up playing. I'm gonna leave his channel link on the description of Jimmy Dean, so you guys know what I'm talking about. But I let, I, I wrote a comment in the chat, and I said, you know what? I would like to see. Jimmy go against Compi, and um, that start up a conversation. You know, there's a lot of people say, you know, Scumpy, you know, he's really good, but I actually believe that Jimmy will sweep the floor with Compi, and it had nothing to do with skill. I'm, 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 I think that they pretty good match a skill way, a, a skill. When it comes to skill and, 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 and stuff like that, I'm, I'm, I'm a pretty good match. But where Jimmy have the advantage over Scumpy is in his patience and mindset. Um, I think uh, Scumpy cannot handle... I've seen a couple of his videos you know, here and there. When I notice about Scumpy, he cannot handle pressure. He falls under pressure. And I think that um, Jimmy, being such a great trash talker, will get in the mind of Scumpy and beat him in that way. He will have the advantage because Jimmy will just humiliate Scumpy and frustrate him to the point where Scumpy will not be able to concentrate. Because, I, like I say, I notice when Scumpy plays and things don't go his way, in some of his videos, you know, things don't go his way, he does get frustrated and he rages. And the reason why he able to bounce back, though, is because nobody's really teasing him. There's nobody in his ear. You guys can see right now, I exchanged to the uh, Ken 44 and uh, lower the sensitivity. This this one doesn't have um, stock. I was able to do a lot better with it. But anyway, the reason because um, Compi is able to come back is because he's not being teased. Nobody's in his ear um, teasing him. And 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 and, and um, how do you, I didn't I didn't even see that guy, bro. That's embarrassing. And I think that that Jimmy will be great at that. Jimmy will tease him and 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 beating his head and just trash talking in a, to a point where Scumpy will lose focus and he just will not be able to come back. So that's why I believe that Jimmy Dean will actually sweep the floor with Scumpy in a match. I, I really, really believe so. Um, which is something that I touch bases in one of my videos and I mentioned that you know this game is all about your mind state and your focus if if you are the type of player that is going to get frustrated you're going to start crying like a baby and and you're just not going to you know trying to get back into focus you're not going to do good you're going to do horrible for the rest of the game and uh and it, it just it just it is what it is you know in this game i started horribly i i was having a bad game i, I couldn't handle the uh i couldn't handle the man of war with the stock on it it just it wasn't working out for me and then when i i made a, um adjustments look at this i stay on b 
So he go, I got it. I got my, my sentry. Now, I, I made adjustments and I switched to the, um, to the Ken, Ken 44, which, because he, this one doesn't have stock. And I still, you know, I, I had a couple of deaths in there. It was, it was getting kind of frustrating. But I, you know, I had a mission. And my mission was that I wanted to take over this mansion right here. Because this is a power position, and I wanted to take over this mansion. And uh, that was my mission. I concentrated on that, and I accomplished it. Look, I set up my sentry gun to watch my six. Now, all I got to do is look at that. I got my wraith. Now, all I got to do is put this wraith right on B, the helicopter. You see? Now, I had taken over the mansion. I'm, I'm using the sentry to watch over my six, watch over that spawn over there. My wraith is in top of B. I had taken over the mansion, which is which is what I wanted to accomplish. It was what I des decided. It was what I look at. That, your boy got the wraps. It's what I wanted to do from the get go to take over this mansion from the beginning of the game, and I just. When I got frustrated, I just quickly thought about which which other way or what need, what do I need to do to be able to accomplish the mission, which was taking over this um, PowerPoint right here, this power position. So that's all it is, guys. You got to set yourself a goal when you play these matches, um, trying to take over a power position. And figure out which power position is is that that one that the one that you want to take take over, and 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 concentrate on that. You know what I'm saying? Don't worry about what everybody's doing. And when you get shot, don't get frustrated, man. Find ways to bounce back. Anyway, that's it for me for today, man. Your boy went ham. You're gonna see in the score in a minute. Look at that, my raps got the final kill cam. Guys, make sure you leave a comment. And a like is always appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for your support. Peace. I'm out. Later.